Ugh, it's just another regular day of me chopping wood to build my base. Nothing interesting ever happens in the forest. What's that smell? I think that's a pokey puff. Russell, Russell, Russell. Huh? Was that rustling? Who's there? Russell, Russell, Russell. Answer me. Who's there? Evie, Evie. Did you follow the scent of the pokey puff? Yeah, I followed the scent of the pokey puff because I wanted to eat it. Whoa. Why did you jump all the way there? Sorry. For what? Rock throw! <sighs> Sorry, but I found that pokey puff first, so it's mine. <coughs> ah, that pokey puff was so good. I can finally leave now. Ugh, fine. <sighs> I'm so tired. Ugh, somebody help. I need help carrying Eevee to the Pokemon Center. <sighs> no worries, bro. I can totally help you. Huh? Who just said that? I have many names. I'm Bike Lizard, Future Coridon, and Past Miraidon. Stop with the riddles. Tell me who you are or else I'll find you and also use a rock throw move on your head. Okay, okay. Anger issues much? Anyways, I'm Cyclizar. Okay, Cyclizar, care to show yourself? Because I don't know wherever the heck you're speaking. Okay, dude, come in here right now. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Come on, dude, let's go to the Pokemon Center. Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, little dude. I know I've offered to take you to the Pokemon Center, but this comes at a price. So, I'll just make you pay. Hey, DJ Bellybolt, hit it. You got it, Cyclozar. Playing right now. Da-da, 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 da-da. So the price of a 20 feet trip 
cost me my sanity? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but so yeah, I'll be asking people to pay fifty pokey dollars from now on. Here we are, dude. <sighs> Finally. Hey, Nurse Joy, heal up Evie. Yeet. Okay, you got it. Na 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 Oh, Larvitar, what happened? Weren't we just in the forest? How did we get to the Pokemon Center? And what's that Pokemon right next to you? First off, uh, this is Cyclozar. Oh, nice to meet you, Cyclozar. Nice to meet you too, Dudette. So back in the forest, uh, you knew both me and you wanted uh, the Poke Puff, but I wanted that Poke Puff a lot, a lot, lot, lot more. So I used the Rock Throw on you, and then you passed out, and then. I felt bad that you were uh, groaning in pain, so I then carried you a few uh, feet, and then I got really tired. Then uh, Cyclozar offered to help me out, but he did ask for a price. The price was a very, very bad sounding Rick Roll. Okay, dude, I get it. I already said I would change the price to 50 Pokey Dollars. Now just let it go. So anyways, Cyclozar then dropped us off at the Pokemon Center, Nurse Joy healed you up, and here we are now. And also, I'm really sorry for using the move Rock Throw on you. I should have just let you have the Pokey Puff instead. It's okay, Larvitar. If I were you, I would have probably also done the same thing to get that Pokey Puff. So, Larvitar, Cyclozar, uh, thank you for helping me. I guess we can go back to where we were again. Um, Evie, uh, there's one thing. I don't have anywhere else to go since I'm an orphan. I, the whole reason I went into the forest to collect woods for my base. But along the way, while I was getting you to safety, I saw that my uh, base got destroyed. But I was too caught up on uh, trying to help you that I really didn't care about what happened to the base. So I don't have really anywhere else to go. Maybe uh, we could uh, go on uh, some travels together, unless um, you're not able to. Okay, Larvitar, I accept, since really, I'm an orphan too. Hey, Cyclozar, are you tired to give us another ride? Me? Too tired to ever give a ride? Ha! Huh. Never. Get on, dudes. We're going to wherever you guys want to go. So, most importantly, where do you guys want to go? We, me, and Evie have already decided in one millisecond that we want to go to that mountain range over there. Aw, oh, the Glaciado Mountains. Good choice. Let's go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Here we are, dudes. A uh, Glaciado Mountain. Though it does look a bit different. But uh, that must be a uh, global cl climate change or whatever. Five minutes later. Larvitar, it's getting really blizzardy. Let's just go back down. Yes, I know it's getting really blizzardy, but we have to keep going. I won't give up. We wanted to come here for a reason. We're not going to stop just because of some blizzard.
Those two are really brave about thinking to trespass on our mountain. I'll deal with them. Sing! Larvitar, it's getting harder to see in the blizzard. Evie, don't worry. Just follow the sound of my voice. Okay. Sing! Um, um, huh? Ah! Oh no. Larvitar! Larvitar! Where are you? Larvitar! Oh no, 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 no. Larvitar! Oh! Sing! Huh? Where are we? You two are in the Glaciato Mountain Kingdom dungeon. Okay, who are you? And also, could you show yourself? Sing! Sing, 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 sing. I am Frigibax, the prince of the Glaciato Mountain Kingdom. Well, for, I mean... Uh, Prince Frigibax, uh, why did you tie us up? Well, you guys trespassed on the parts of the kingdom that, uh, you're not supposed to, so that's why. You guys are allowed to visit the Glaciato Kingdom, but not through that area. Also, I cannot enclose the reason if you were going to ask me that. I promise we didn't know that we weren't supposed to cross there. So, uh, could you, uh, untie us, please? Huh, that's funny, because every time I heard somebody say that, the kingdom has at least gotten attacked or invaded. I mean, what can we possibly do to your kingdom? You single-handedly knocked us out and kidnapped us. Shut up. Don't use your logic on me. Anyway, I know you guys are a distraction, so our enemies can get in and invade. Wait, at least untie us first. Yeah, he's not coming to untie us, because he doesn't trust us. So we're going to have to take matters into our own hands. Here we go. Stone Edge! Oh no. I forgot that my legs were tied up. How do I get up now? Help! Larvitar, are you stupid? Because you know you can just use Stone Edge to push you on the back and get you back up. Um... Yeah, I knew that. Okay, I got back up. Now, how do I untie myself? Wait, I just got it. So I'm going to keep on using tackle until the rope finally snaps apart. 30 minutes later. Boom! I'm finally free! That's great, Larvitar. But can you free me now? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. I'm gonna untie you now. 10 minutes of Larvitar struggling to untie the rope later. Come on, man. Did you really have to tell them that? Yes, I had to. Every show has that one dumb character. And that dumb character for this show is you. Whatever, man. And viewer who is watching this right now, please forget that this even happened. Now, back to the episode. 
Great, I untied you. Let's go now. Don't forget that it also took ten minutes, and you kept struggling. Okay, we do not talk about that. Wow, the kingdom looks cool. Yeah, I guess it does. But we do have to get out of here before Frigibax finds us. Hey, Charmander, you remember the plan, right? After Excalibur and Frigibax come out, we're going to explode this bomb that will destroy the entire kingdom. But our goal is to actually kill the king and prince. So, stay on the lookout for Excalibur or Frigibax. A bomb? But that's gonna kill everybody! Shh! They cannot know that we listened to what they said. Now, let's see what other plans they have. Okay, but where? The bomb! Shut up! If somebody hurt you, our plan will be ruined! Jeez, you're so stupid! Sorry, I won't do that again. Evie, come on! We have to go and find Frigibax and tell him about this. He thinks we're the enemy, but really, it's. I think it's them. That's why he didn't trust us. Five minutes of looking for Frigibax later. Yield, what is your order of business here? We're going to tell Prince Frigibax about what we saw. So, we saw Charmander and a Charmeleon talking about they're going to explode the city with a bomb. Once, uh, he goes with his father, King Baxcalibur. Guard 1, I do not trust these two, so why don't you go with them to see if they're lying or not, and I'll stay behind in case they're planning an attack or something. Okay, Guard 2, now, you two, show me where you saw this Charmander and Charmeleon. We'll see if you're lying or not. Which there probably are. We saw those two in that alley over there. Wait, huh? Where did they just go? I swear they were here. Evie, you saw them too, didn't you? Yeah, they were literally in this alley. Like... Charmander even screamed by accident. First of all, when did you two escape? And second of all, where's the Charmander and Charmeleon that are about to explode a bomb? Also, by the way, the guard told me that, so that's how I know. Now, where are they? You know if you lie about them, you can go to jail, right? It's in the kingdoms of Paldean law. Well, we're not lying. We actually saw them here. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. They weren't lying. As you can see, your majesty, they were telling the truth. But what they didn't know is... They didn't eavesdrop long enough because we kind of knew they were eavesdropping on us because stupid Charmander here was yelling. So we know someone must have heard it. So we saw them running along the side of the alley. And when they were gone, we thought about another plan. So while you got out, we put bombs in the palace and the rest of the city. So, they're going to be exploding in 10, 9, 8, Come seven, on, we gotta get out of here. Six. I can't go. If my kingdom goes down... 
I uh, I gotta go down with it. My prince, please get out of here. You can at least be the last surviving member of our kingdom. Without you, the kingdom will be gone. Completely. Fine. I'll go. Only to keep the kingdom alive. Oh, I'm going to miss you so terribly, kingdom. Larvitar! Eevee! Let's go. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Meanwhile, with Frigibax, Eevee, and Larvitar on a beach that's still in Paldea. Oh, thank Arceus, we escaped. <laughs> yes, we managed to escape, but the rest of the kingdom and my father didn't. Back. I'm so sorry. Me and Evie are orphans, so we can't relate to the pain of losing your family and home. Don't be. It's not your guys' fault. It's that stupid Charmeleon and Charmander's fault. Oh my arc, yes, I hate those two. But they think they've won, but wait till they see. When I evolve into Backscalibur, I'm getting this exact revenge on them back. So they'll experience my pain. And I'd love to see them suffer. Just like they're loving how I'm suffering right now. 30 minutes of morning later. Okay guys, it's getting pretty late and we're gonna have to find a place to sleep. So, we're gonna have to quickly build a base. 45 minutes of building a mini base later. Ah. Uh. Finally, we finished building the mini base. Now, let's go and sleep in it. And then in the morning, we'll maybe expand onto the base. After a very long and adventurous day, the three went inside their base to go get some sleep. So, then they will wake up in the morning. And the morning is going to be in the next episode as the journey continues. Rrrr, da -dun. <laughs>